Welcome back to Bullet Catcher Gaming. This is, of course, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. This video is all about interesting places or things that you may have missed um, whilst you're exploring in the world. Uh, we're going to try and look into them and see what they could mean, things like that. But before we do, big thank you to Jarrell Williams, who helped me with uh, one of these specific things. Also, friend of the channel, Bayonet X-Ray, who provided me with two of these, and Scuba Steven 1000 who gave me some input on some of these too. Now, the first one, as you can see, we have just entered this cave right here. Now, it is quite dark in here, um, but as you can see, it's kind of glowing up on the ceiling and across the rooftop. Now, these are because of glow worms. They're not um, glowing stones, they're actually glow worms. Now, I love this cave, it's really interesting. And could be an interesting thing if they add the Lara Croft thing into the game. Maybe the weapon that we're going to be looking for could be in here. Um, it hasn't been utilised for anything, this cave. Um, it's really interesting. So basically, the, like I said, these are glow worms causing this. And um, supposedly it is to do with the worms emitting a kind of bright um, phosph uh, phosphorescent light um, kind of turning the caves into a natural light display really interesting they're really fascinating i mean they kind of you can kind of see that they're not stones when you look at them you can see that there's something kind of hanging down and that is the actual glow worms which is quite fascinating but yeah i'd like to see it used for something but be interesting so you can find it right here just north of wisp hill be careful around there there's um it's quite busy there's quite a few bad guys hanging around um but that's where you can find it really interesting one so on to the next location now the next location as you can see right here it's an interesting one, it's out in the snowy regions and you can see this big pile of kind of ice and snow with um, some steam coming out the top of it. Now you won't be able to hear this but it actually kind of makes a bubbling noise, you can hear it bubbling away and interesting enough there's loads of things, loads of um, bits to pick up around here, some really rare resources um, littered about all over the place so it's a great location to come to now what this actually is I believe is an ice volcano now sometimes they can be bigger in size and sometimes they can be quite small um, and it's a, a canonical mound of ice basically um, formed normally over maybe a lake or some kind of ice shelf um, and it basically the eruption of water underneath with the slush pushes up and creates like this ice shelf kind of uh, volcano thing. So this is where you can find it right here, east of Silent Valley, right there. It's an interesting one, especially just for something to look at, but also, like I said, for the um, precious resources that are lying around in plenty all around it. It's a good one. Go and uh, check this one out. Now, I think this is one that everyone's going to know. We've covered it in multiple videos, but if you haven't seen it, it's the door. We called it the doorway to hell. We did make a video on about the fact that we thought it could be zombies in here. Um, and if you look at the way that episode three, Transcendence, the story was going to go, I do think zombies was a possibility, um, but they obviously cancelled that and replaced it with Red Patriot. Now, this island is covered with kind of red all over it kind of like but it's not the actual ground by the looks of it It looks like almost like a kind of auburn kind of blood color um, but what's fascinating about the door is that there is something fairly nearby um, I mean this is where the this is where it is um, but if we go south of this location afterwards there's something more interesting um, that could have something to do with this door maybe not but we're going to um, we're going to head over there um, afterwards but as I was just saying yeah there's some really interesting artifacts on here some um, statues things like that and of course the noise of the door is always interesting we've got another video where we um, we upped that sound so go and check that out so here is that location um, it is not far at all. I'll show you in a minute. Um, there's some interesting things here, some skulls and stuff. There's loads of dead bodies. They all seem to be wearing masks, all of them. 
Um, but where it gets interesting, if you come into this hut right here, now on the wall of this hut, you will see this poster which says Utopia. Now, Utopia basically literally means nowhere. It was coined by Thomas More, uh, used by the title of his book in 1516, about an imaginary island um, enjoying the utmost perfection in legal, social and political systems. So basically, similar to Wonderland. Um, even though we're still missing a clue from Wonderland. We'll have a Wonderland video coming soon. But as you can see here, check this one out. So, World 6.66. Now, what could, what could that mean? Um, this is really interesting, because obviously in Revelations um, in 13.8, uh, where 666 is mentioned, it's the only time in the Bible it's mentioned. It says, um, here is wisdom. Um, let him hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and the number is 600, three score and six, which is 666. Um, and whoever is uh, represented by this, then the text indicates is pure evil. Now, supposedly one of them says about coming from the sea. Oh, by the way, this is where you can find the location. And what we do know is that on the island, that there are a couple of strange looking sea creatures um, that, are, that the skeletons have kind of washed up. And of course, there is... Um, the Kraken is mentioned numerous times. So here's another interesting one. Um, I only discovered this one recently, thanks to Bayonet X-Ray. Um, we have, of course, an obelisk here. So obelisks were used for uh, reverential monuments, commemorating the dead or representing kings or honouring gods, things like that. And then, of course, if you come up here, you will find a circle of stones a circle of stones can be used for all sorts of things. Um, archaeological evidence, I think, has indicated that to the addition of them being used as a burial places, um, a lot of them are connected to agricultural events, such as like the summer solstice and things like that. And they've been found all around the world and they're still quite mysterious. So if you want to have a, have a quick look at this one, um, I can't find anything else mysterious around here. They're right at the very southern part of the island, right here, as you can see. Um, so if you want to come and have a look for it to yourself, you can. But it's an interesting one. Um, let me know if you've seen any others. So, okay, we have covered this one in a previous video as well. But I thought I'd put it in here because I think people might be interested in come and have a look if they haven't been here. There is a clue that can bring you here. Um, we've got that on a, on a much older video. Um, if you want to actually follow the path to the clue to here. But this is the Yeti cave. As you can see, there are bones lying around on the floor where he's obviously eaten some kind of animal. Now, we had the Yeti in Wildlands, um, even though it kind of turned out to be a man in a suit. But I'd like to see... I would really like to see a Yeti mystery added into Year 2, actually find and fight a, a Yeti. Um, but if you come here, as you can see, there's a body who's been hacked up there, or not hacked completely, but he's been slashed at. And there's lots of bones and scratches on the walls and things like that. So there obviously is a Yeti around. Like I said, there's a clue regards to him as well. Um, but if you want to come and see the Yeti and you haven't seen him, this is where you want to come, right here. Uh, just kind of northeast of Avalanche Peak there. So here's another interesting one. Um, this is on Gollum Island. I'm really not quite sure what this is all about, but as you can see, it's like kind of like stick man, and he is hanging off the side of a cliff, and he's all tied up. The only kind of thing I can think of regards to stick men is maybe like the Blair Witch Project Easter egg or something like that, because it was, uh, they were called the Twanass in that, where they kind of made stick statues. He's kind of got a face hacked out of him as well, and he's kind of hanging from a tree over the edge. If you know what this means, I'd love to know because I'm kind of, it's the only thing I can really think of at the moment. I'm really kind of run out of other ideas. There's a vehicle up there, like someone has dropped this thing off. Um, anyone else got any more information on it, please leave a comment. I'd love to know what this could be. But like I said, they were kind of mysterious humanoid stick figures that were the signature symbol of um, Blair Witch. Um, they weren't quite the same, but they were fairly similar. So, you know, but let me know if you find out. Another one on Gollum Island. We've also covered this on the Mysteries of Gollum Island, but I thought I'd put it in there because um, talking with some players recently, they didn't know anything about this. So um, you literally um, go down the kind of ravine um, uh, with the two bases that they're separated, 
um, you go down you kind of climb down go through this cave it's very dark in here but it's pretty cool there are I had a really eerie sound that came over in my game the other day which I'd not had before it's really creepy um, so let me know if you've been down here and had any creepy sounds but it's a cool location all these different candles lit down here with all these graves um, there's no real kind of names on the graves or anything but it's such a fantastic site if you're into your kind of photo mode you could probably get a couple of um, decent pictures down here too but if anyone else knows anything about why this is here or any clues relating to it this is where it is um, just hop down there just be careful on your way down that you don't die quite easy to fall off the side so um, yeah there we go um, let's move on to the next one another one on Gollum Island now I have absolutely no idea about this we've got a vehicle parked up as you can see there was loads of flies and stuff floating around I presume because of all these animal dead bodies here and then we've got some rope on the ground here um, and the most interesting thing is all of the out of all of this is that you will see there is a rope on the wall here now, like someone has tried to climb this, and obviously this is supposed to keep people out, that's what the point of it. And as you can see, a grapple hook. There's nothing else going on though, and I had a good I had a good drone around, but so this is something that we could do with some help with. So if anyone's got any ideas if this is supposed to be an Easter egg or what reference this is to, this is where you can find it right here on Gollum. Um, so yeah, this is a this is interesting. So yeah, leave a comment if you've got any ideas on this one. Now, there's another one that we've covered in a previous video, um, but we thought we'd put it in here as a just in case some people hadn't seen it. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. As you can see, there's a very unusual cutting of the door. It's not a man with a very large dong. Um, it is um, supposed to be where he's cut a hole with his chainsaw through the door, though it doesn't really look like that from the side. Um, but there you go. Um, but yeah, this interesting location, smashed windows, few little bits here. There's not much there, but fascinating nonetheless um there are some pictures up on the wall i have found those locations and been to them there's nothing there there's no other chainsaw clues or anything um so they're kind of irrelevant but this is where you can find it if you want to see it it's not far from the dam where the button is where you can press for the fireworks um but well worth going to check out if you like having a look around and exploring the map this one's uh this one's a good one now this one's going to be the final one for today um, and this is just a little reference to um, Calico Jack Rackham um, that he was an English pirate operating the Bahamas during the 18th century and we thought it was interesting because um, the Navy SEALs like to use his emblem which is the um, skull and cross swords. Um, we just thought this was an interesting little thing it's kind of really hidden away if you come in here have a look up on this shelf and then you have to kind of put your night vision on to really see it it's kind of hidden there and obviously we've got pirate stuff going on um, so there we go you can now see it hidden away there um, it's, it's kind of a it's actually it's kind of an offshoot it's similar to his um, but not quite his one but um, it's probably fairly close but just interesting um, we have got a pirate video out there and a couple other videos about the myths and legends of Aroa and things like that um, so if you want to check out more of these please head on over there until the next time We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.